Um, well, you get more time with them. I mean, if you look at it, a, a six hour series is like three movies. So you get the opportunity to get to really know the characters, um, really get invested in the characters and really grow a relationship with the characters to carry forward. Sam's journey leading up to the series is him basically returning from the blip and coming home. The series picks up right when, right after the blip. So you find these characters trying to reacclimate themselves into culture, into society, into the world that they once knew five years ago. And emotionally, Sam is very split. I mean, when we last saw him, he was left with his best friend telling him that he was no longer going to be Captain America and that he needed to, you know, take on his moniker and move forward, which was the last thing Sam wanted. Um, and then the overall idea of now having to be friends with Bucky is the icing on the cake that literally leaves him emotionally spent because uh, uh, Sam and uh, Bucky's relationship kind of is tent-poled by Steve and both of their respect and admiration and love for him. So, you know, he's he's kind of uh, pulled in one direction and drawn in another. He's, you know, a 50-50 split on where exactly he is as an individual post-blip as well as an Avenger. Well, um, as a Black man in America, the idea of representing a country that has never stood for you, taken up for you, encouraged you, built you up, afforded you opportunity, or acknowledge what you've done since you've been here makes it very difficult to put those stars and stripes on your chest and say you're representing that country. So Sam is in a position where, you know, how does he live with the idea of what his parents, his grandparents, his great grandparents, his ancestors went through? and that not be changed, acknowledged, or in any way, shape, or form, um, any uh, thought given by the country that he's supposed to protect and represent. Malcolm Spelling, the writer, brought to the series a depth of a, 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 a very uh, deep level of understanding of these characters. He um, put us in a position where he really curated the experience for the audience, which was great. You know, um, I think his life experiences, I think his background, I think his uh, ability with uh, exposition and not making it sound like we're telling you every beat what happens, really put us in a position to do the best work that we could. I mean, he's really talented when it comes to creating a character and being able to write in the voice of that character. There were certain times when we would do a rehearsal and we would send over like these ridiculous, like bunched up notes of what we wanted the scene to be. And two days later, we would have a great scene in the voice of the character. So he brought a level of uh, ability that none of us could have uh, matched in any way. 